To produce a continuous welded track, a reliable welding technology is required that can be used directly on the worksite. Using this process, the gap between the heated rail ends is filled with foreign material. The preparations are very elaborate and time-consuming. The finished weld is inhomogeneous with a significant interruption in the hardness curve of the rail. This can lead to dipped welded joints with negative consequences for the entire track at this spot. There is evidence that the breaking strength of such welded joints is lower than that of a flashbutt weld. Using this method, the two rail ends are heated by the supply of a high electric current in the form of a regulated direct current short circuit until melting temperature is reached. This causes a burn-off which is compensated by automatic guidance of the rail ends. When the rail ends are hot enough and all impurities are burned away, the rails are pressed together with a high pressure. This upset stroke causes coalescence of the rail ends. Straight afterwards, the upset metal is trimmed off. The welding quality achieved is unequaled. Because no filler metal is used, the weld is completely homogeneous without any significant interruption in the hardness curve of the rail. The method allows the formation of the important characteristic crystalline structure in the rail material. As early as 1973, Plasser and Teurer presented the APT500A, mobile flashbutt welding machine. Once the rails are positioned manually, the welding head performs the welding fully automatically following a program controlled sequence. All over the world, millions of welds have been made using machines of this type. Today, the APT-1500R rail welding robot is state-of-the-art. The welding sequence now also performs the automatic alignment of both rails. This alone reduces the preparation to a minimum and makes it possible to perform many welds in a short time. To produce a continuous welded track, the existing sections of rail are welded together by the flash butt welding machine to form sections of a defined length. Following this, the rails are stressed and the remaining rail joints are closed. Here, the temperature dependent expansion behavior of the rails must be taken into account. In summer, the rail material expands due to the heat creating compressive forces that can lead to track buckling. In winter, the rail material contracts due to the cold, creating tractive forces that can cause rail fractures. For correct rail stressing, a neutral temperature must first be specified. For example, 25 degrees Celsius. The finished track is then lying force-free and at the same time has enough leeway for fluctuations in length. At 25 degrees, the rail pieces have a certain length, L, for example, 360 meters. But the rails can only be stressed at temperatures below the neutral temperature. Let us assume 10 degrees. Naturally, the rails are then shorter in this example, around six centimeters. These gaps are closed by pre-stressing the rails. 
Now, the tractive forces in the rail correspond to those at a temperature of 10 degrees. The rail fastenings of the one side are loosened up to the previous closure world which is 360 meters away. On the other side too, with the exception of the last 30 meters in front of the next gap. This piece serves as an anchor. The difference over the entire length caused by temperature is around 12 centimeters. However, the actual gaps found on the work site have arisen by chance in the course of laying work and are always too small. Therefore, they have to be enlarged to the size calculated. But not the whole difference in length is cut out. The reason for this lies in the flash butt welding technology. Firstly, the material lost due to the burn off must be taken into account. And secondly, the welding requires an air gap of 3 millimeters. The remaining extra length is cut out. Now the closure weld can be performed correctly. For this, it is necessary to have a high pulling force to stretch the rails and a correspondingly large pulling distance. The APT-1500R welding robot is the first machine in the world that can perform closure welding without an additional pulling device, thanks to its tractive force of 1500 kilonewton and a maximum pulling distance of 250 millimeters. The procedure of rail alignment, pulling and welding is performed fully automatically in the same way as for a normal weld. After this, the robot must hold the rails long enough until the weld has cooled down sufficiently and withstands the applied pre-stressing. The result is a continuous welded track with the correct pre-stressing. <laughs>